What's up everybody? This is Zach Hampel on another Scorcher in Texas. I'm in Houston, Minute Maid Park, home of the Astros behind me, my 21st Major League Stadium of the season. And I think this is gonna be the only time that I'm here this year. Of course, the Astros won the World Series last year. I wanna come and see what all the fuss is about. This place has been packed, hopping all year. It's the all Texas matchup today. The Rangers are in town. This is the fourth straight game that I've seen them. They put on such a good show in BP. They skipped it yesterday in Arlington because it was so hot. Today, of course, because of the dome, they should hit. Should be a really fun day. Let's get in there. All right, ready? Oh yeah, baby, on the board. All kinds of action to start the day here in Houston. And when I first ran inside and headed down to the right field corner, I had an opportunity to use my glove trick. The ball was sitting right below me on this little concrete area behind an open door in the right field wall. So I set up my device, lowered it down on the string, and picked that thing up to get myself on the board. Then I noticed that the Astros hitters were launching baseballs all over the place, making use of the entire stadium. Marwin Gonzalez hitting home runs to right field. Evan Gaddis going deep to dead center, hitting him high off the batter's eye. And then Alex Bregman launching balls completely over the Crawford boxes near those train tracks. Now I got a few home run balls, including one hit by Evan Gaddis that I caught on the fly. And I'll tell you this thing about Gaddis, and in general when you're going for opposite field home runs. The temptation when you see the ball take off off the bat is to run right toward the spot where you think it's heading. But those balls really hook back, especially with Gaddis, because he has a tremendous inside-out swing. So that ball almost looked like it was heading to right center field to start, but I stayed right where I was and it curved back to me. That baseball was a mini milestone. Career ball number 10,500. So feeling pretty good about that one. And I noticed that the Rangers just took the field. They're starting to warm up. And like I said, their batting practice is epic. Get ready for it. Rangers batting practice is underway, and I started off playing one of the arches in left center field in the concourse. Wasn't really feeling it there, so I moved down to the Crawford boxes, where it was so crowded. But it's a fun spot. You're really close to home plate, you're up high almost on top of the action, and the balls just come zooming in right at you. Now my goal down there was to try to catch a home run ricocheting down off one of the advertising boards, and I almost got one. Now while I was there, I got a toss up from a lefty pitcher on the Rangers, not sure who, and I'm not even sure if my videographer got a shot of it, because he was filming all the action everywhere. It's a really fun spot, but it's tricky, and for now, I've moved up here to the second deck in right field. I was hoping Joey Gallo would be hitting because man, I feel like he could hit balls completely over the second deck. Instead, in the second group, the one lefty is Ronald Guzman. So, he's perfectly capable of reaching this spot and hopefully Gallo will be up next. Closing things out in the right field second deck, and that turned out to be the right decision because there were two really strong left-handed batters in the final group, Joey Gallo and Rubenet Odur. And it was actually Odur that put on the better show and hit more balls into the seats. I caught one of them, kind of a line drive that I didn't think was gonna reach me, but the balls were carrying really well today. So I drifted down about maybe one or two steps, drifted to my left a bit, and reached up for the easy catch. So that was my sixth ball total. Now there was just great visibility overall today. Easy for me to track the balls the whole way because I'm not used to going to games in dome stadiums. And you know, there are even some dome stadiums like Tropicana Field, which for some reason the roof there is the same color as baseballs. But the dark backdrop here made it easy for me to see them and also for my videographer to get some great shots of the balls the whole way for you guys. So I hope you enjoyed that. Six baseballs total for me today. Of course, the day is not done. I'm feeling really good about that, especially given how big the crowd is gonna be today. Oh. 
As I mentioned here in my video last year, the center field area in this stadium has been completely revamped, and it's really cool. It kind of feels like this is the go-to spot in the stadium where everyone wants to hang out. You buy a standing room ticket, you come here to these staircases that just kind of zigzag up all over the place. There's platforms, there's balconies, all kinds of food options. You got torchies up top, you got Shake Shack down below. So definitely when you're at this stadium, come hang out in center field, and while you're out here, take a look at the Astros bullpen in right center. Now the visitors bullpen in the stadium is tucked completely underneath the concourse in left center, out of sight, so you cannot see the pitchers warming up. But the Astros have some big name guys in their starting rotation. Guys like Justin Verlander, Garrett Cole, and tonight's starter Dallas Keuchel. Nice to see him warming up before the game with that epic beard doing his thing. Now this year, his record is eight and eight. He's got an ERA in the mid threes, so not great, not terrible, Terrible, but definitely a departure from his dominant season last year when he went 14 and 5 and the Astros won it all. So again, really cool spot. Check out the video from last year where I really went into it in depth. For right now, top of the second inning, no score. Unbelievable crowd here tonight in Houston. It seems like there are so many people everywhere. The lines for the bathrooms are five or ten minutes long, and it seems like out in the concourse at the concession stands, there are sometimes 50 or 100 people waiting to buy food all over the place. For right now, I found a decent foul ball spot along the right field foul line. Top of the seventh inning, Rangers are up five to nothing. Robinson Chirinos hit a two-run shot a little while ago to give his team a boost. So another hour or so left of game, and there's some fireworks coming up later. Just a fun celebratory night here in Texas. Center fielder, 15, Carlos Toch. It's a final here in Houston, and the Rangers offense was just too much to handle tonight. They poured it on in the ninth inning and won this game by the score of 11 to two. They pounded out 15 hits, including three from Adrian Beltre, who now has 3,125 for his career. Also three home runs by the Rangers, so just a great show by a great offensive team, as I said, coming into the day. Now as for me, I got a total of six balls today, and including the ones I gave away, that that brings my lifetime total to 10,502. That's actually better than I expected given how huge the crowd was. They announced the attendance at over 42,000. And one of the highlights of the day was seeing a fan run out onto the field after the game and get chased around by stadium security. That kind of stuff used to happen all the time back in the day, like in the 1990s, not so much anymore. Fun to get that on video for you. For right now, the fireworks are about to start, the roof just opened, that's why all these fans are still here and had to sit through their team losing big. That's it for Texas, one game in Arlington, one in Houston, I'm actually going to Atlanta for a couple of games, looking forward to seeing Manny Machado tomorrow in a Dodgers uniform. So look for that video, thanks for watching this one, I'm out.